My friends, yesterday was a very productive day for me, and it evolved into a really special day for a soon-to-be 10-year-old young man here in the shop. You're going to want to stay tuned to see what happened right after this. friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is Thursday, April 20th. As I mentioned, yesterday was a really productive day for me. I'll just tell you briefly uh, how that went. I was able to cut the height of the sawmill down by 18 inches. There were six uprights that had to be cut off and then some welding had to happen and then reattaching everything and everything pretty much is finished. It's all back together. Now I just need to recalibrate it and make sure everything is running flat and square and true. And when I get that done, I'll be ready to use the sawmill again. So here's a little photograph of where we're at right now. Well, hope you enjoyed uh, seeing that uh, picture there of the sawmill and its new shortened version. That did seem to really stiffen it up a lot. So I think it's going to be just that much better going forward sawing lumber. Well, moving on to the really exciting news. You know, I had mentioned that Tuesday I was supposed to be receiving a surprise package for a certain young man. His name is Cash. We were supposed to receive a handmade guitar by Jesse Burge. And it didn't come in on Tuesday. Well, that tightens up the noose a little bit because Cash was going to be there Wednesday afternoon for his guitar lesson. So he comes around 3.45 to 4 o'clock for a guitar lesson. It just so happened that the UPS driver showed up at around uh, 2.45 to 3 o'clock. It was So we only had about 45 minutes to roughly an hour there before uh, Cash would arrive. And so the timing was really pretty good, actually. So I just decided to just leave everything in the box. So I then made up a story. And so here's the made up story. So you'll know what's going on. The made up story was when Cash came in, I said, hey, Cash, I've been telling people all week that I'm expecting this guitar to be shipped in to me for repair. And it's a pretty neat guitar and I need to repair it. I thought, well, since you're here, why don't we just open the box on camera? You can be there. They all know you from seeing you before. So I said, it's going to be kind of a neat thing that you and I can open this together and tell them about this guitar and the repairs that we need to make. So you got to keep in mind that that's the story he thinks is happening. He does not know this is for him at all. He has no clue. So he's trying to play that up. And as we're opening it up, he's making a few comments like, oh, that looks really neat. Or, you know, those kinds of comments. Because he's trying to play it up like the story he thinks we're doing. <laughs> So then you'll see how we turned the tables on him after that. I just wanted to set the stage so you know what's going on and that you can for sure know that he has no clue what's going on. So here's the video. Enjoy. Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop with my buddy Cash, you know, my guitar student. Cash just showed up a minute ago. The UPS driver, I'm surprised they didn't hit each other on the way in and out because the UPS guy just showed up a minute ago and he brought that guitar that I told you I've been waiting on to repair. It was coming from Texas and it's really a unique guitar and I need to look at it here. And I thought, well, since Cash is here, we might as well just leave him on camera too and we'll get this thing opened up. So let me pull out my wonderful knife that one of my viewers sent to me. And I'll, I shouldn't say sent to me, he gave it to me while he was staying here at the rental retreat. And let's just open this up. I don't think you've ever seen a guitar quite like this one. No, I don't think I have. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, it's gonna take a lot of work. I've seen a lot of acoustic guitars, actually. At least I, I think that's the guitar that's here. It's the one that I have to work on. I know it was coming from Texas, and that's where this one came from. Yeah, it says from Hattiesburg. Oh, this is from Mississippi. I think it was coming from Texas. Well, this might not be that guitar. I don't know. I thought it was. Oh my 
my goodness. It's in a it's in a case. It looks Let's, beautiful. Well, it's a big old case. <laughs> so cool. Let's well, here. Let's, let's throw the box out here. And I'll just set it up here on my table. We've got to unwrap this blanket. Let me get my mandolin out of the way, too. Uh, it's complicated. I don't know what guitar this is, then, if it's not the one from Texas that I was waiting on. It's probably another one. I get instruments in from all over the place and have to work on them all the time. Cash, it's just one of them deals. I see about, I think, five up there. Yeah, there's always instruments coming in. So let's see here. Well, it has a very nice case. Yeah, looks like a brand new case, actually, doesn't it? Well, I don't think this is the guitar I was expecting. That's a nice one. Well, yeah, but it don't look like it needs any work. That's all I do with instruments when they come in is work on them. I don't know. Look at this thing. I wonder what this needs. Well, maybe that. Oh. Uh -huh. Look at that. That's a pretty back, isn't it? Look at that. You see that back? Mm-hmm. It's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder what that's made of. That looks like that's some type of mahogany on the back. It's what it looks like. I ain't really sure. The sides look like rosewood. Is that some kind of a curly rosewood on the back? That might be what that is. I've never really seen anything quite like it. The neck looks like it's a type of mahogany. And I fret, think it's kind of been scratched up a little bit. Fretboard looks kind of like ebony or something like that. I don't know. It says it's made by Burge. Well, you know what? Now that I think about it, Jesse Burge is a friend of mine. This must be from Jesse Burge. Well, that'd be darn. You know what it is? It's a guitar for cash. Wait, what? It's yours. He sent that to you. Really? I'm not kidding. Wow. I can't believe it came today when you're coming today. What do you think about that? Okay, I'm actually kind of speechless. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I guess I'd be speechless too if somebody just handed me a $3,500 guitar. <laughs> what do you say? Thanks. Thank Look you right up there and say, crap. tell Mr. Burge what you think. Okay, I actually don't even have any words. I love this thing more than I ever could. This looks awesome. Wow. It says Jesse Burge right in there. Look at that. That's a beautiful guitar, isn't it? That's very nice. Well, Jesse, he's speechless. <laughs> <laughs> that's you, hard to do. <laughs> you think we ought to... Yeah, that's pretty hard for cash is to be speechless. <laughs> Do you think we ought to tune it up and see what it sounds like? Yeah. Well, why not? Let's do that. Let's see if we can get the tuner out here. Where did the tuner go? Now, wouldn't you know I can't find that? Here it is. Okay, so let's, let's get this thing tuned up a little bit. In fact, I'll just sit down here and we'll do it on camera. And you can stand there on camera right behind me. And let's see what this thing sounds like. It's all it's untuned because it was being shipped, so you don't want to have tension on the strings when you ship them. So we'll have to tune it up here. Got nice tuning keys on it too. And what I what I know about this is Mr. Birds spent over $125 just to ship it up here to you. So there you go. That's pretty nice for somebody to send you a handmade guitar and he didn't even know you. Isn't that pretty cool? Yes. Thank you very much. Boy, it's got a sound. I can tell that already.
Doesn't that have a sound? Yes. Wow, that's a beautiful sounding guitar. Jesse, you did a nice job there. Well, sit down here, Cash. Sit down right there. Falling leaves that lie scattered on the ground. The birds and flowers that were here cannot be found. All the friends he ever had are not around. They're all scattered like the leaves upon the ground. Stop and always lend a helping hand. So when they lay beneath the little grassy brown, there'll be more friends around than leaves upon the ground. Fallen leaves that lie scattered on the ground. The birds and flowers that were here cannot be found. All the friends he ever had are not around. They're all scattered like the leaves upon the ground. Yes, they're all scattered like the leaves upon the ground. Thanks, Mr. Burge. What do you think about that guitar now? I love it. You love it, huh? Well, that's good. Listen, to, hit a chord on it. Just like play your G and listen to how loud it is compared to your other guitar. Hit it again. Listen to that sound. Listen to that sustain and clarity. Huh. What do you that think? That is so... Pretty. It's so pretty, huh? I love the sound. Yeah, it's a nice guitar, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, I think you better talk to Mr. Burge one more time there, and then we'll turn the camera off. Thank you very much, Mr. Burge. I love this guitar. It looks awesome, and I love the sound. And pretty much all of that, I'm speechless. <laughs> John, thank you for believing in Thanks for believing in me. Thank you, Jesse. You did a great thing. We wanted to take a second and read the letter that Jesse included with the uh, guitar. And uh, he also included an invoice and told us what kind of wood and everything. And, you know, I wasn't sure about the uh, wood. I said I thought it might look like it might be a curly rosewood, but I wasn't sure. I should have recognized it because it's made out of babinga. And uh, babinga is a beautiful wood from Africa. And you can see there it is a very pretty wood and it's a good tone wood. In fact, the very first mandolin I ever built, I used uh, Babinga for the fretboard. So kind of a tie there. So why don't you read the uh, letter, Cash, uh, that uh, Jesse included. Dear Cash, I hope this gift inspires you to become the best guitar player that you can be. I leave you with this thought. If you meet me and forget me, you have lost nothing. If you meet Jesus and forget him, you have lost everything. Jesse Berg and Elaine Berg. Yes, it's Je signed Jesse and Elaine Berg. So that's very nice. And then he's got an invoice here that uh, shows the uh, what all the parts were. Uh, it's uh, the guitar has a serial number of 90. The back and sides are Babinga from Africa. The top is Lutz Spruce from Canada. The binding is Holly from uh, Kennard Burge. And the uh, Grover Stay Tight Tuners. Uh, the fingerboard is Ebony. And the neck is Honduras Mahogany. The binding is also Herringbone. There's Herringbone around the top there, as you can see. And let's see, the nut and saddle are made out of water buffalo. Isn't that cool? Water buffalo bone, I should say. 
That's a nice guitar, Jesse. You really did a nice job. Thank you so much. Thanks. Well, my friends, I think you can see how special that moment was, and Cash was overwhelmed with the uh, guitar. And I have a little addendum that I just received this morning via text, and I'll read it to you from his grandmother. Uh, she said, I wanted to let you know that Cash teared up several times on his way home. He said he was so overwhelmed, his word, by the guitar and all that you have done for to help him. I, I said, Cash, these people believe in you, and this is a wonderful thing they are doing for you. This morning, when he got back from turkey hunting, and it is turkey season here in Missouri, and his father is taking him out in the mornings before school. So she said, this morning, when he got back from turkey hunting, he went in and wiped off his guitar. <laughs> So obviously, he's really in love with his new guitar. So once again, Jesse, you did a great thing, and we will see you all tomorrow. Beep, beep.